Tonight in Columbia, the 15 year old student arrested for stabbing another at AC Floor High School has been charged with attempted murder tonight and could be charged as an adult. Now an incident report is giving a little more insight into what happened. Here's News 19's Lauren Thomas. A report from the Richland County Sheriff's Department is shedding light on the stabbing incident at AC Flora High School. On Monday, school resource officers responded to a fight between two female students while in the courtyard of the school. According to the incident report, one deputy broke up the fight, and when the second one arrived, he saw that someone had tied a belt around the victim's injuries, believed to be stab wounds. Deputies explained in the report that they were able to locate the knife used in the fight and that the student involved said that she brings the knife regularly. There are no metal detectors at AC Flora High School, and we spoke with a parent and student who say they are concerned about that as well as safety. One thing that concerns me is that this is something that is very common, not necessarily this like crazy of a situation, but we do have a lot of fights that happen at our school, and I just feel like that, I mean, I, I don't feel safe here. I don't want uh, metal detectors, but I'm thinking we're going to have to have them. Um, with the incident about the guns last year and uh, you know we just I think we're gonna have to have them. Richland One School District said that safety has and will continue to be a top priority explaining in a statement that we have not made any changes as a result of yesterday's incident but we will reassess our policies and procedures to see what if any additional measures may need to be put in place. Now there are social media pictures and videos of the scene that show a significant amount of blood on the ground and News 19 has decided not to show those photos because they are too graphic. But the Richland County Sheriff's Department explained that the student who was injured is in critical condition at Palmetto Health. Reporting in the studio, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLCX. And you heard in that report that a parent mentioned a gun incident from last year. He was referring to last March when multiple students were arrested in connection with a gun found on school grounds. No one was hurt during that incident.